Hello? Harrison, I need your help. Dad, you keep forgetting. I'm a lawyer. You're the detective. Oh, come on, son. All I need is a ride. What could possibly happen? I had to get out of my office while they were fumigating. So I figured as long as you were in Sacramento for a couple of days, you'd work out of my office. Exactly. Oh, I knew look you wouldn't at this mind. place. Look at this place. What happened to my cleaning people? Well, I, I sort of made a deal with them. A deal? Yeah, I gave them a couple of days off. Otherwise, I'd be messing up the place, you know? Hey, a lot of my stuff is confidential. Where's the Hobart antitrust case? Hobart antitrust. Yeah. Oh, those important looking papers. Yeah, they were right here. No, it was all here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Now, don't worry. <laughs> I put them right over there. Where? Underneath the pizza box. Oh, Dad. Oh, I really enjoyed using your office. Gave my business a touch of class. When do you imagine your business is going to return to your office? Oh, tomorrow. Now, look, son, don't worry. As soon as I get all my stuff, everything will come back to normal. Mr. Fox? Yeah. Yes? Mr. Fox. You guys done? <coughs> All right, let's get him out of here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just let me get this straight. This is your office. Well, I, yeah, but I... I, I, I have answered a question. Yeah, it's my office. Yeah. But you have been using it. Well, my office is being fumigated. The exterminator said I had cockroaches. But he's wrong. I mean, I know cockroaches. These were that big and they were furry. All right, I don't want to hear about your bugs. I just want to know who the deceased was coming to see. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> I told you, I never saw the guy before. Look, my clients do not walk in here dead. All right, all right. Now, as soon as the coroner makes an ID, I'm going to want to talk to you again. Maybe then one of you will lay claim to him. I really don't need this. Oh, what will you... Well? No ID, nothing. We'll run his prints in the morning. I'll call you from the morgue as soon as I find out, Harry. Thanks, Joe. <coughs> Stop worrying about stuff like that, will you? Go home and get some sleep. Come on, I'll lock up. Get some sleep? How can I? If word about this got out, do you realize what it would do to my practice? Will you stop worrying? You said you didn't know the guy. Right. Who's going to connect you with this? Come on. Hey. Tossed and turned all night. I hardly got any sleep. 
Cindy, a man died in my office. I know, honey, that's awful. He dead. What does a real dead guy look like? Still and cold and dead. Listen, honey, try not to think about it. Come on, I'll make some coffee. You go out and get the paper and relax. relationship with A.C. Dragotti. Who are you? Diane Sanders, San Francisco Herald. How long have you been his attorney? Who said I was his attorney? You didn't say it? I didn't say I didn't say it. I said I didn't say I said it. Hey, oh. Oh, no. Right on the front page. Well, you sure hit the jackpot. That stiff in your office last night was A.C. Dragati. I wonder what he wanted. I don't even know who he is. Oh, that gold bullion swindle a couple of years ago. He and his partner, a guy named Porter, they hustled people out of millions. Then Porter killed himself, and Dragati disappeared. That's right. I remember that. Yeah, it's all in the paper. They think Dragati was hiding in South America. He hasn't been seen in this country since the swindle blew up. I'm gonna take this to school and show all the kids. Oh, no, you're not. Take it easy. Take it easy. We'll get to the bottom of this. How can I take it easy? There are pickets right outside the door. My family might be in danger. I don't even know what those people want. Well, maybe they think you know where the money is. I better check on Dragati. Find out what he was doing in your office last night. Dad, this could ruin me. My practice can't stand this kind of publicity. Don't be silly. There's not a lawyer in this town with a better reputation than you. Joe, come on! Hey, where's our money? <laughs> well, maybe I'd better go out the back, huh? your son connected with Dragati? He said he never met or dealt with him. It's not the way it read in the papers this morning. So what can you tell me? <coughs> not much. The FBI matched his prints from the telecopy we sent them. I pulled two slugs from his back, 22 caliber. If it had been anything bigger, he probably couldn't have made it away. How far could he have gone? Uh, depends. Might have lasted for a couple of minutes. Anything else? Nope. As a matter of fact, with you and your son involved, I probably shouldn't even be talking to you. All right, I owe you one. Next time I see you at the track, I'll buy you lunch. Harry, Harry, when did you last see me at the track? I haven't been there in years. <laughs> Wish I could say the same. <laughs> investment scam. I'm sure Mr. Fox will answer all your questions as soon as they get there. Where's the question? Please, just have a seat. Uh -huh. How many times have you seen Dragati in this office? I don't know anything about a Dragati. Oh, no, not here, too. Oh, here he is. Hey, there What could I do? You have to believe me. Uh, you're wasting your time. I know less about this oh, than you. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. Hey, look, Fox, I want my money. Mr. Fox. Mr. Rexford. Sir, aren't you a little bit early for your 10.30? <laughs> uh, why don't we step into my office? I think we'll have a little bit more privacy there, oh, sir. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was first. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, my legal matters demand the utmost discretion. I think I'd better look elsewhere for an attorney. Oh, Mr. Rexford, I think you're... Now you can talk to me. Now you can talk to me. Mr. Rexford? Uh, 
Uh, maybe we could have lunch sometime. Oh, there he is. There he is. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come What a nightmare. <laughs> Why me? <sighs> Sorry. Bad day. Mm. Ever get the feeling you never should have left the house? <laughs> What are you doing? I lost $25,000 to that bunco artist friend of yours, Fox. Money I saved for my son's college education. Now, I don't care about the others. I want my money back. And I'm going to stick with you until you get it for me. If you don't, first, I'm going to rip your face off. And then, I'm going to get mean. Elevator, Harry. I'm waking on it. Good. Hey, Ralph, is it safe to come in here now? Oh, yeah, sure. Come on in. I've had the uh, window open for some time. Boy, how long is this smell gonna last? What smell? What smell? Oh, thanks, Fred. And I found this left under the door. Under the door? Well, well, well. What do we got here? Mr. Fox, I need help finding someone. Contact me at Oakland Arms, 142 Bay Drive, room 212. Been in all night. Looks now like he ain't ever coming back. Huh? You're a cop, right? Well, I guess I should have called you guys when I saw his picture in the paper. His picture? Yeah. This is Dragati's room? Yeah. Well, that ain't the name he gave me. He didn't come to see ours. Came to see me. When did he arrive? Mm, two days ago. This is? Mm-hmm. Are you sure it traveled light? Nothing else, huh? No. You've seen it all. You got a lead to who killed him? Not yet. Well, if you asked me, I'd say it was his lawyer. I think he's up to his nose in it. This, Dad, I, I feel like I'm sneaking around like some kind of a fugitive. Oh, hang in there, son. I'll make a headway on this. 
What did your friend down at the DA's office tell you? Oh, nothing much. Just that Trugatti always violently denied that he had the money before he went to South America. No, what do you expect him to say? Say, what about you? You said you came up with something pretty big in Oakland. Oh, yeah, I, uh, a chocolate pie. Have you tasted the chocolate pie here? Oh, you gotta try it, please. Uh, I, I don't want any. What did you find out? It's filled with, with, with chocolate mocha, chocolate chips. It's got a chocolate base crust. It, oh, you gotta try it. <sighs> Dad. <laughs> got a little cherry on the top? I hate cherries. Well, I'll have them take it off for you. What did you find out in Oakland? In Oakland? Well, uh, <clears throat> the guy came to see me, not you. I. I knew it. Did I tell you? You really want to try the pie? I don't know why you're blaming me, son. How was I supposed to know? There are crazed investors out there. They're scaring my family. They're bugging me at work. All because one of your clients chose to die in my office. I don't think he chose to die any place. Well, he did. And now everybody in town thinks I was his lawyer. <laughs> Do you know one guy even threatened to rip my face off? Oh, come on. Nobody out there really wants to hurt you. Where's my money, Box? That's him. Who? The face ripper. Where's my money? Try and lose him. Honey, I'll take you to the park when you finish your homework. Hi, Miss Jones. Did she lose money on the dead guy, too? So. Mrs. Fox? Yes. Hi, Diane Sanders from the Herald. Oh, yes, I read your article in this morning's paper. I've been working the Dragati Porter scam from the beginning, and I must say I've never connected your husband with them before. Miss Sanders, my husband is not connected with them at all. Hey, me! I have a tape recorder just like that one. I, I do. Uh, I'm not doing any interviews. Okay. I'm just trying to get all the facts. Your husband's been awfully evasive. That's because he didn't know Dragati or Porter. What about his father, Harry Fox? Could he somehow be involved with the dead man? You bet. Grandpa Harry's always around dead bodies. Really? Yeah. Come on, Josh. Hey, Mabel, where are those back issues of World Holiday Magazine? I can't see them anywhere. Oh, Harry, open your eyes. You're practically standing on them. There. Huh? Oh, I need March 7th, 1984. Must be important. It's the first time you came in and didn't ask for the racing form. March 7th? Yeah. Here? Oh, good. Let's see. Ah, ah, uh, yeah, here it is. There. That's it. How much do I owe you? For you, two bucks. It's a deal. Thank you. Yeah. All I need is this page. You can have the rest. Harry. Harry, what am I supposed to do with this magazine? Well, maybe you can sell it to somebody else. For a discount. Who'd buy a magazine with a page ripped out? I'll take it. Oh, no.
no, no. <laughs> no, Mr. LeMasters, it's all been a terrible mistake. You see, I, I never even met the guy, much less represented him. No, you see, the newspapers got it all wrong. They blew it all out of proportion. No, 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 keep your seat. I just want to check something out. Uh, no, uh, the reason I called you is that I, I can't use my office right now, and I was wondering if we could take the deposition over at your place. Wasn't there a picture of Dragati's partner in the paper today? The guy who committed suicide? No, no, sir, there's, there's no problem. It's just that I don't want any of my clients to meet me where I am. You can? Well, that's perfect. I'll meet you over there in an hour. Thank you, Mr. LeMaster. Thank you for being so understanding, sir. Oh, I, I don't think it'll take very long. A, a half hour at the most. Right, goodbye. Harrison, you're not gonna believe this. What? I picked up this magazine in Dragati's room. It was a page ripped out. I got another copy. This is the picture that was missing. It's a racetrack in Mexico City. Everyone is identified, except one. Does Mr. Unidentified look familiar? Yeah, where have I seen him before? Porter. It's the same guy. Oh, I don't know. Picture Porter with a mustache. You're right. Porter committed suicide three years ago. This was taken six months ago. He should have made sure Dragati was dead. He never should have got to the lawyer's office. I got worse news. That detective, Fox, he's getting close. Let's get the hell out of here, Mr. Porter. No, not until tomorrow. It's been three years. I came here to see my daughter, and that's what I'm going to do. What about the Foxes? You're going to make sure they stop bothering people. Harry, the guy's dead. I handled the autopsy personally. Hey, look for yourself. The fingerprints, dental records. Everything checks. <coughs> it was Porter. <coughs> no chance of a mistake? None. But look at this guy. Now, tell me that's not Porter. Well, there's a similarity, all right. And it also looks like my barber. Boy, I thought I was onto something. I don't believe it. They're still picketing out there. Really? At this hour? What's the matter with these people? Don't they have homes to go to? Maybe they lost them to Dragati. Come on, Harrison. It's not so bad. Uh, there were a lot more protesters out there this morning. Sure, the smart ones are home getting some sleep so they can come back and intimidate us tomorrow. Hey, anybody home? Hey, Hi, Dad. Grandpa Harry. Hey, Josh. How's the arm, huh? Oh, fine. Get the cats off in a week. Yeah, well, that'll teach you to slide head first. I tried to call, but the line was busy. Yeah, well, we've had to take the phone off the hook. Crank calls. Well, I just wanted to tell you I couldn't get a make on that truck that was chasing us this afternoon. Hey, Gramps, can I ask you a few questions from my newspaper? He's been playing cub reporter all day. <laughs> okay, Josh. Now, what do you got there? Oh, this is my tape recorder. This is Josh Fox, ace reporter for a large metropolitan daily. I'm talking with my Grandpa Harry, the best detective in the whole world. <laughs> Grandpa Harry, what was your toughest case? The toughest case? Well, let's see. It was right after the war. I was sitting in my office. 
This gorgeous woman walked in wearing nothing but a... But a, uh... Josh, I better not finish this one. Uh, it's all right, Josh. It's your bedtime anyway. Say good night. Good night. Good night, son. Dad? Huh? Wearing nothing but a what? Oh, it's a long time ago. So, uh, how's it coming? Uh, have you found out anything new? I still think Porter faked his suicide and is alive. But I don't know how he fooled the coroner. My guess is Dragati found out his old friend was alive and in San Francisco. He wanted me to help him. Too bad he was killed before we could connect. But if Porter is alive, that means he's been hiding for three years. Why come out now? And why go back to San Francisco? Yeah. A couple of pieces missing, all right. So where do you go from here? Home. To bed. Nothing more I can do tonight. Good night, Dad. Good night. Thanks for dinner. Oh, nice sign there. <laughs> It's just my bum leg. Oh. Who are you? Why'd you do that? I came to talk to you, and I couldn't if you were dead. Well, let's move your car, and I'll buy you a cup of tea, huh? It's a deal. He's almost ready. I don't know who was driving that car, but I do know it's got something to do with Dragati and Porter. That's what I came to talk to you about. What do you know about them? A lot. I'm listening. I was the one who discovered their scam three years ago. I may know more about it than anyone else. Yeah? Well, then tell me why Dragati came out of hiding and why he came back to San Francisco. That I haven't been able to figure. Well, then I told you that Porta may still be alive. Are you telling me? Well, I don't know. Oh, listen, this is the biggest story I ever had, and if it's heating up again, I want it to be mine. So how about pooling our resources? Let's work together, huh? Tell each other what we know. How do you know you can trust me? I checked you out. I have some tapes. Porter's last telephone conversations before he committed suicide. They're legal. 
FBI put a tap on his phone, and I got them under the Freedom of Information Act. Go ahead. I couldn't find anything significant on the tapes, but maybe you can. If you do, I get the exclusive. Is it a deal? Oh, I'm glad never... oh, I'm Hey, why don't you turn this thing on? Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I want to hear this tape. I need a Josh's tape recorder. At two in the morning? You scared us to death. Why didn't you ring the doorbell? Oh, I didn't want to wake anyone. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's only Grandpa. <laughs> That's right, honey. Let's you and I go back upstairs. I have a feeling these two are going to be a while. All right, show me how to work this, huh? Okay, Dad. Turn in your key. Huh? My house key. Hand it over. Oh, don't be silly. I have to be able to get in here in case something happens. Dad, the only thing that ever happens around here is you. Look, I want to listen to the tape. It'll interest you, too. It's the phone call that Porter made the day he supposedly killed himself. Now, what happens when you press this red button? No, no wait, wait, wait. All, all right, all right. Give me that thing before you erase everything. Okay. Guido's. Yeah, Guido. This is Alfred Porter. Can you squeeze me in for a haircut around noon? You got it, Mr. Porter. Doesn't sound like a guy who's about to commit suicide, does it? Calm down. Nothing's gonna happen. We'll talk about it at the track this afternoon, okay? Okay. Harrison. Harrison, wake up. Come here. Huh? Come here. I think I got something. Really? Listen to this. Porter, this little business matter we have is starting to... <coughs> starting to worry me. I got a lot to lose. <coughs> Do you recognize the voice? No. I recognize the cough.
What got you up so early? I never went to sleep. Huh? I've been working on something. What was it you once told me? Toughest part of your job is when they brought in the body of a friend. <laughs> Toughest part of my job is when I have to bring in a friend. <coughs> what are you talking about? You fake Porter's death. Can you prove it? I got some good inadmissible evidence. And a lot of theories. Like just before Porter ran off and hid in Mexico, you, you took his prints and dental x-rays and put them on another body. Whose body was it, Joe? I don't know. Just some bums, some unidentifiable wino the cops brought in. Hey, we didn't kill him. He was already dead. You know I never get involved in a murder. Why'd you do it? I needed the money. Gambling? The track? <laughs> Porter offered to pay off my debts if I helped him to disappear. I didn't think I was really hurting anyone. Do you know where Porter is now? I was the one person who knew he was alive. He didn't want me knowing his whereabouts. I thought this was all behind me. Hm. Till the other night, your son's office. Oh, and I rolled that body over and saw Dragati's face. Do you think Porter did it? Probably. What do you think they'll do to me? Harry, I'll make the call. Turn myself in. If you need a good lawyer, Harris is the best. Thanks. Well, Joe admitted he faked the death certificate. That's incredible. Hi. Your daughter-in-law said you'd be here. What'd you find out? Order's alive. Well, then I know where he is. the only person he ever loved. I know, I did a profile on him. She was a first-year medical student when he supposedly committed suicide. So your guess is the porter came out of hiding to see her graduate. Harry, last night you asked me why Dragati would come back to San Francisco. Well, if he thought Porter was alive... He knew he was. He saw a picture of him at a racetrack in Mexico City. Then Dragati realized that this was the time and place to find Porter. I bet he was right. Porter had all the money. He faked the suicide and left Dragati holding the bag. An empty bag. That's why Dragati came back, to get his share. Look, the ceremony's gonna be over in a few minutes, and we'll never see Porter again. How fast can you make this thing go? Don't ask him that!
There's always a place to park. Will you stop worrying? Damn, it looks like it's over. Well, let's split up. Diane, you go that way. Ashley, you check over there. I'll go over here. You never should have butted it into this. Come down here, slowly. I filed your writ with the court, and uh, we should be on the docket in the next few weeks. Well, thank you, Mr. LeMasters. Right, goodbye. Hi. Cindy said you were working late, and she was taking Josh to a Boy Scout meeting. Yeah. So I thought I'd buy you some dinner. Oh, great. I'll be ready in a minute. What'd you think of Diane's byline this morning, huh? Looks like they recovered about half the money that Porter stole. At least the investors will get something back. Yeah, and I'll get my life back. It's been a mess. Dad, could you do me a favor? The next time you have your office fumigated, will you give me a little notice? I'll rent you something temporary. Come on, son. I'm gonna buy you a great steak. Mr. Fox? Yeah. Yes?